Hello everyone. So welcome to my lecture series on functions of several variables. Today we are going to see suppose if we have a function from a higher dimensional space that means say from 2, 3 or n dimensional space to a real number system that means if you have a scalar valued function then how to show that the limit does not exist. Okay so we, are going, we will see this using a couple of examples but before jumping towards the example let's see some small points which one should know and also see what is the difference between one variable and the higher variables. So the first thing should be clear that the limit of a function if exist is always unique okay and if you have a function which is approaching to different different numbers then we say that the limit does not exist okay now before going to the higher variable case let's see what happens in one variable case suppose if you want to find what is limit of a function as your x approaches a so if you recall if your junior college or high school mathematics what you have seen you have a real number system over here you have a over here what you used to do you used to approach a from left hand side and then you used to approach a from right hand side if the left hand limit is equal to right hand limit then you say the limit exists and this answer is nothing but that number the number which is coming by finding the left hand limit and the right hand limit okay so in one dimensional space you have only two paths to approach a one is the left path and one is the right path if they are equal limit exists they are not equal limit does not exist chapter over but now when you are in higher dimensional space then things changes drastically how the things changes suppose you have a function from a two dimensional space that is r2 to r okay and uh, suppose there is some point say a comma b over here this is my a this is my b so this point is a comma b now if i approach to this point a comma b then question is where my function will approach that is the question okay now here if i want to approach a comma b how many paths are there that is the first question now i can approach to a b through this horizontal line from the left hand side i can approach through the right hand side i can approach from downward i can also approach from upward okay if i don't want to approach through horizontal and vertical lines i can approach through side lines I can approach AB from this line as well. I can approach through some curve. I can approach through this curve. In short, I can approach AB through infinitely many paths. So as soon as you go from one dimensional space to a higher dimensional space, if you want to approach a point, there are infinitely many ways to approach that point. In one dimensional space, there were only two paths, left hand path and the left right hand path. But as soon as you go from two dimensional onwards, you can approach the point through infinitely many ways. Okay. So if you want to show limit does not exist, what you do, you choose two paths and you show that along those two paths, the limits are different and your job is over because if the limit exists, it has to be unique. So you choose two paths, show that the function is approaching different, different numbers and hence limit does not exist. If you want to show the limit exists, then what do you do? Can choosing the path will help you? Like in one dimensional space, only you approach through left and right, there are only two paths. So you just say the left hand limit is equal to right hand limit, hence the limit exists. For higher dimensional space, if I say, okay, I'm approaching A comma B through 10 crore paths or 10 million paths, and I'm getting the same answer if I'm approaching A B through 10 million paths. Will I say in that case that number is the limit? No, right? Because it might happen that 10 million one path is giving you a different answer. Okay. So even if I'm getting a same answer for say billions of path, I can't say that is the limit. In that case, you need to prove it that okay. Okay. So I'm approaching this number or this element through 10 paths. I am getting the same answer. That means that number should be the limit. And if you want to prove that you need to use the definition in terms of epsilon and delta. Well, that I'm not going to cover in this session. But yeah, if you want to prove something is a limit, you need to go by epsilon delta. And if you want to prove the limit does not exist, you choose two nice path and show that the function is having different limits and hence the limit does not exist. So that's what the overview is. Now let's see some examples. Okay, so here is the question. Here is the function y upon square root of x square plus y square. What is the domain of this function? This is this does not exist when both are x and y are 0, 0. So the domain is whole r2 except 0, 0. So 
now the question is we need to show that as i approach 0 0 your function does not exist i mean the limit of the function does not exist okay now if i want to approach 0 0 there are plenty of ways to approach so let's approach along suppose horizontal line let's approach 0 0 through your right hand side okay so how you will solve this question okay so limit f of x y is x y approaching 0 0 along x axis from right hand side if you want to be precise you can say x axis plus means you are approaching from right hand side now when you are approaching through x axis to 0 0 obviously your y is 0 so you treat your y is 0 and your only x is approaching 0 so this is same as saying this thing okay now what is this what is f of x comma 0 it is 0 upon square root of x square plus 0 because your y is 0 this is nothing but and what is limit of 0 limit of 0 is nothing but 0 so when you are approaching through x axis the limit is nothing but 0 now let's choose one more path suppose if i'm approaching this along y equal to x line this is y equal to x line so along y equal to x line if i approach if i want to approach along y equal to x line so when your y is x that means what this will become f of x comma x and only you write x going to zero and what will be the change over here you replace your y by x so x upon square root of this so this is nothing but root 2 x x x goes away so i get 1 by root 2 and what is limit of constant it is constant only so when so when i am approaching 0 0 along x axis the limit is coming out to be 0 and when you are approaching through y equal to x line the answer is coming out to be 1 by root 2 and since i am getting different different answers along two different paths therefore the limit of the function as x y approaches 0 comma 0 does not exist okay so this is one example let's go for the second one so this is the second example same thing you need to show that as you approach to 0 comma 0 the limit does not exist okay so here so let's first approach origin through y axis so let's approach to origin through y axis so that's why i have written over here now along y axis means what your x is 0 so therefore you replace your x by 0 and only your y is going to 0 and this is nothing but so when you put x equal to 0 you have y upon y and you can cut this y see your y is not 0 okay i'm up y is approaching 0 y is not equal to 0 okay if y is equal to 0 then this is 0 upon 0 which is not defined which does not make sense so y approaching 0 means y is approaching towards 0 it will never take 0 as the value therefore i can cut this y upon y i get 1 and limit of constant is 1 so along this path i am getting 1 as an answer now you have to choose one more path okay now as you can see here the degree is 2 so if you approach through y equal to x square path if you approach origin through say y equal to x square this path so what do you get along y equal to x square so here it will be your your y is x square and your x is going to 0 okay so what is this thing so x square plus x square upon x square which is nothing but 2 and limit of constant is 2 so as we can see when you are approaching through vertical line your limit is coming out to be 1 you are approaching through parabolic path your limit is coming out to be 2 so your function is approaching to two different numbers as you are approaching origin therefore limit does not exist okay so depending upon the equation suppose if you had here x plus y then you could have choose horizontal and vertical path and if suppose they're giving you the same answer what you could have done is since the degree is 1 you could have approached through the line say y equal to x or y equal to 2x or y equal to 3x or whatever y equal to minus x so you could have approached any of the path so whenever the degrees are 1 you can take the help of the lines horizontal line vertical line or y equal to mx line okay and if you have some x square like quadratic something then you choose the parabolic path if you have x cube or something then accordingly you have to keep on choosing the path by looking at the equation so i hope all the examples are clear now let me give you some homework problems so here are the three examples try to solve them you have to show that the limit does not exist when x y is approaching 0 comma 0 okay so when x y approaches 0 0 you need to show the limit does not exist so what we will do is in the comment section for each of the example you tell me the path which you have chosen for example if you choose y equal to 2x and and tell me what is the limit then say second path say y equal to 3x comma the limit so once you have two different limit the limit does not exist so tell me the path and the limit you are getting for each of the three questions okay so i hope you understood the concept on how to show the limit does not exist if yes do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you